And fans were shocked to see him go this last week. Mauricio is doing this now. He could break that out at every hey. wedding party. Salud. Hey, Salud, I don't know amigo. how to dance Salud. the tango. Little Margarita's Salud. here Salud. for the cheers, run right cheers, here. Cheers, cheers, right. cheers. Right there. I can't believe you're eliminated. I was very upset by this. How would you describe your experience on the show? My experience was absolutely extraordinary. I, I, I loved it. I would not trade it for the world. Um, it, was, um, it was something that I had never done. I learned how to live and do something that I didn't know how to do and tap into a part of my brain that was different. You know, the creative, the performer, all of that stuff. I'm a business guy. I'm yeah. not a performer. Um, and so tapping into that and doing that was something super special and then learning how to do it and then improving and, and going through all Ooh, of this process was just, you know, was awesome. And I totally spaced out on this dance. This was week <laughs> two and I lost that one, but uh, no, I like the, the rest of them I crushed it. And yeah. the glitter and the... And, and you got to really surrender to your partner because they're your partner, your choreographer, your counselor, all move. of the above right there. This was a great dance. That was an amazing dance. That was the uh, uh, a moment of the, uh, the, the most memorable year that we we did and uh, Emma choreographed a beautiful dance to a great song and it was a very sentimental week so it was uh, that was a great dance. What about your body? Marisa I walked in when I hugged him I said "Ooh, here we go. Has your body changed with all this dancing? I am in the best shape and the people that think that dancing is just like dancing it's like it's not just dancing. No. It is true athletes. I am in the best shape I have been in and since I was in my 20s. Um, I lost in, in six in, in seven weeks. I lost 22 pounds. Wow! Uh, and by the way, I was eating. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, not Ozempic. <laughs> so you know, no, not Ozempic. I was eating. I was eating a lot, but you know, I was working out. You know, dancing four hours a day, and I was working out another hour, hour and a half a day. So I was working out five hours a day, and uh, it's amazing. Ballroom, baby. Good for Ballroom you. Ballroom dancing. Who uh, who are you liking to take home the mirror ball? Oh, there's some great dancers that are that are up there and remaining. But I got to tell you, I'm going to put my money on Sochi. Sochi's okay. one to watch. Okay. She's one to watch, yeah. And for you, how did you block out all the noise and everything swirling on social media to focus on this? Well, you know, first of all, I didn't look at it that much, so um, I, I, that that was one easy way to block it out. But the truth is that when you're, you know, when you're dancing, when you're doing this for four hours a day, the only way that uh, you know, and you're not a dancer, the only way for me to remember the steps and to get to know it is to be 100% focused. So it was an amazing distraction, given the fact of everything that is going on. Um, and it was just, you know, it was it was it was actually quite easy for me to be honest with you. It was. Uh, it was almost therapeutic, and it was really nice. Yeah, have something to focus yeah. on. Now, one of your dances was was dedicated to Kyle and your family. Yeah. What's what's the situation right there? Because all kinds of rumors going on. What's what's the deal? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, that we've addressed it. The rumors are, uh, you know, we we're, we're we're separated right now. We're trying to work through our uh, through it. It's been a it's uh, you know we've been married for 27 years. It's been an amazing 27 years. It's an amazing 26 years. Um, it's been a rough year, and uh, you know the truth is that you know you don't just throw in the towel, you know that quickly, you know. But uh, it's been a very successful marriage, an amazing marriage. Uh, she is my best friend. She will always be the love of my life, and uh, you know we're going through a patch where we've decided to take a, a momentary uh, lapse of uh, separation and see what happens, right? And 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 neither, you know. As soon as we know, we'll let everybody know. We promise you. Like, we're not hiding anything. Hi. Well, I think because of the show, like, we've seen you all right. So, so many people are invested and want the reconciliation. What are your hopes for the future? You know, at, 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 look, at the moment, we're just kind of allowing things to, to, uh, to happen. Um, right now, my hopes are that, um, uh, that whatever's meant to be for both of us is what ends up happening, that, we, that we, uh, we're very amicable. We're not fighting at home. We still love each other. Like... Um, and you know, if I were to tell you like, there's uh, there, there's like this perfect way of going through tough times. Like I feel like that's the way we're going through it. Um, particularly being you know in the public eye with so much noise and so much speculation and so many rumors and so much bullshit and all of that stuff. Uh, we're going through it in a very healthy way. We're speaking with our kids. Our kids are a big part of it, um, and that's very important. So. Uh, you know, it's just part of life, and that, and we're going through it, and it's, and it's very hard to go through this, to be quite honest with you, with so much eyeballs and so much speculation and everybody wondering, and you know, 90% of the rumors are false, and you know, sometimes the speculation turns into reality, and sometimes the speculation turns into falsehood. So, but sure. it's. Um, it just is what it is. But you're real people going through real stuff, which is what we are. We are 100% remember. real people. We have real family. People don't realize that. You know, it's the uh, when you receive the uh, 
the messages and the DMs and all of the hate and then, you know, comments and everywhere. Like, people don't realize how much that hurts. Um, and, um, and thank God I don't read it that much, but uh, my wife reads it, my kids read it, and it hurts. And it's, uh, people don't realize that there are actually people on the other side, and it's like, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ability to just write whatever you want to write, and it's not very fair, but, you know, if I can send a message, like, people need to know that we are on the other side. <laughs> you, you mentioned your kids. Um, how old are your girls, and are they uh, getting into the family business? So I have three daughters. I have a stepdaughter that's 34 years old. I think she just turned 35. Um, Farah. Um, then I have three other daughters, Alexia, Sophia, and Portia. Farah and... Um, you don't stand a chance. You got, uh, all, I got all... Look at girls, this guy. Man. It's amazing. You got a male dog at least? I got four uh, bitches. So no, I do not. Uh, <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> On top of my, the, my dogs, yes. Um, and uh, yeah, but you know, we're, we've got Buying Beverly Hills season two that we have finished filming that's and great. that's definitely coming on board you're gonna have to see how many daughters are working with me there like okay. I, you know I'm not a hundred percent sure what uh -oh. that looks like yet um, but that should be coming out to air it's uh, it, it, we filmed it came out great it's a really exciting show and I can't wait for that to come out to air Mauricio, what? all good things for you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Great Salud. future. Whatever Salud, Mauricio. Yeah. Dancing with the Stars is back tonight at 8 on NBC and Disney+. Plus. Check that out. We'll be right back.